So, um, this wasn't planned. Like, at all. But, um, I got a new phone. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> so Jake broke his phone, right? So mom was like, hey. Do you want to come with me to the Apple store? I want to see how much it would cost to get Jake's phone fixed. So we go to the Apple store. And I'm like, hmm. I do kind of want a new phone. I was hoping to wait for the next phone to come out. But I would be more than happy with a 14 Pro. And... So, I got the 14 Pro. <laughs> I haven't gotten a case for it yet. <laughs> uh, I need to. I am waiting for my paycheck. But, one thing I do like is uh, video comparisons. Or more specifically, um camera comparisons and, and shit like that. Why are you struggling so hard? Oh, yeah, that's why. The, um, well, one, the, um, the 12 Pro is definitely a, um, older. I've had the thing for three years. But, um, you could see just I don't know, the, the 14 Pro just seems like it's a lot clearer. Here's a close-up of the Zelda Loftwing Amiibo. And then one for the 14. And then, kind of... I can use reflections to make this work. A little bit, kind of. They're, they're a little bit off. <laughs> Probably because they're side-by-side -side and not, like, on top of each other or anything. Um, and even then it's still a little off, but it, it is very different feeling. It's around the same size physically, but the, uh, the camera is better by a bit and it's brand new, obviously. So it's not like run down and, and got three years of constant usage under its belts and the battery is better by a significant margin, as I learned. Um, so I'm definitely happy with it. I definitely, um, am excited about it. I, I am ready to be done with that 12 Pro. I'm, I was happy with my time with it. Don't get me wrong. But there are times when you need to say goodbye. And because he broke his phone, Jake kind of needs a phone. So I'm going to give the 12 Pro to him gonna be happy with this. I need to still get a case, like I said. And then I will be good. Yeah. I have no idea if I'm like in, in frame. But... I came to a realization, I'm in a bit of a rut, <laughs> um, Twitch has been going fine, nothing too crazy since that Zelda stream, but nothing bad either, so I don't know really what caused this rut, but like, it definitely was, um, something has felt off, and I don't know what or why. And I'm hoping when I start, uh, Xenoblade stuff again in a few days, that I'll sort of sort it out. I hope. Um, so, so the plan right now is to finish up Sunshine, which I did, start, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, a few
Future Connected, which should be starting here in a few days, I hope. Um, then I think I'm going to play Danganronpa V3. I have my plans written down somewhere. I need to, to go double check that, but either way, next is Future Connected. Uh, while playing Tears of the Kingdom and joining Jordan for Pokemon when I can. Um, but something is... It, it, I, I don't know what it is. And, and maybe it's, it's too much of one game. Because a lot of my focus lately has been Zelda. Um, until that last Sunshine stream. So maybe that's what it is. And hopefully this will help break up the monotony. But like, since I came back from the, the suspension, something is just not, uh, I, I've been very quick to cancel streams. Granted, some of that does have to do with family stuff, but like, sometimes I'm just like, eh, I don't really feel like it for seemingly no reason. So hopefully Xenoblade will reinitiate that um what that drive, passion, vigor, whatever you want to call it. And and hopefully hopefully that'll that'll help. But I I right now don't know. I can only speculate. This for some reason, has been my go-to when I am bored. And what that is, I'm just gonna sit up real quick. What that is, is a live stream that someone is actively streaming of, um, we'll call it the C dot hunt. So, if you are familiar with Pokemon, you might be familiar with the idea of the Living Dex, which is a complete Pokedex with one of every species. So, let's say you have Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, you'll have a Bulbasaur, an Ivysaur, and a Venusaur, not just the highest form to have the entry in the Pokedex. You may also be familiar with the Professor Oak Challenge, which is get every available dex entry as soon as it becomes available. What this stream is, is both of those, but every valid Pokemon has to be a shiny Pokemon. Now they're playing a vanilla copy of Pokemon Emeralds, when the shiny odds were 1 in 8,192. He's not playing this himself. He wrote a bot in Python to to handle it for him, because that would be a nightmare. But, there's a few Pokemon, including CDOT, which is why I call it the CDOT hunt, which only have a 1% spawn rate anywhere in the game. It has been searching for CDOT since February. We passed it, the 8192nd CDOT. And I recorded the clip, so I'll play the clip. But we're a bit past that now at uh, 8311. We're a bit past dots and we are yet to find a, a, a C dot. Fun. But for whatever reason, this has become easily my biggest time kill, pastime, background noise, whatever you want to call it. It's very good for putting on and just turning your brain off. <sighs> so, I started Xenoblade Chronicles um, Future Connected, and there's a lot that I don't like about the game. Uh, I really like that it is like the closure for Melia. I really like that it is more in the world of the Bionis and Mechonis. Before three. Uh, and I really, really like 
Shulk's characterization, because he's gone through his entire character development. However, there are things that I don't like. The fact that you're pretty much locked to Shulk, Melia, Discount Ryan, Discount Charla. I don't like the Pawn Spectres. I miss Chain Attacks. I don't like the lack of Heart to Hearts. The Quiet Moments are nice, but they're not the same. Um, and frankly, I'm glad that there is no padding like there was in Torna, but it is definitely a lot shorter than Torna, which is a little saddening, disheartening. But overall, I do enjoy the game. It's just, if I had to choose between it and Torna, and now especially uh, 3's DLC, I would probably pick either Torna or 3's DLC. <laughs> uh, it's a very short game. It, it averages 7 to 10 hours, so the second stream I should be done with it. So, it is what it is. But, that should be it for this week. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you next week.